Hi everyone, welcome back again. <laughs> welcome back to Spiritual Girls Tarot. I'm Denise and today I want to check in. I So I've had a had an email from one of my dear friends, Frank. Hi Frank. <laughs> uh, he alerted me to uh, this uh, EpiPen scandal that uh, Joe Manchin's daughter is going through. I think her name's Heather Bresch or something like that. And I do remember that in the reading I did for Joe Manchin, there were in the Kipper portion, maybe the whole thing was just a Kipper reading, I can't remember, but anyway, I do remember that his wife came up and his daughter came up in that reading. And it, you know, it didn't it didn't look good for him, but I didn't know anything about this at the time. So now this is coming up. Um, Let's see how it's going to go for, uh, you know, for that whole family. It might break them down one at a time. But, of course, I definitely want to focus mostly on Joe Manchin. Like, how is this going to affect him? So, anyway, let me get the camera down, and I'll take a deep dive on this. Okay, so I decided to use uh, Tony's deck, the Card Geeks deck. It's available on Etsy if you like it. But I'm using it instead of... Uh, you know, Cheryl Marchetti's deck because the cards are a lot smaller and I can fit in the number of cards that I think I'm going to need to get the full picture. So bear with me. I'm going to draw 21 cards and I want to get inside of how this is going to, how is this big uh, scandal, this antitrust suit against um, this company called Mylan, M-Y-L-A-N, I guess. Um, who used to market the EpiPen, um, and, and who was their CEO, the president of their company, was Heather Bresch, which was, of course, Joe Manchin's daughter. So she, she worked, you know, with everyone to corner the market on the, like, you know, the EpiPen, um, and... What wound up happening later on, I guess, is that it, it took some time, of course, but it was, you know, all started, I guess, back in 2007, where this company, Mylan, got the rights to the EpiPen after getting them from, I guess, um, some other pharmaceutical company that was related to Merck, Merck Ph Pharmaceuticals. Anyway, then, at that time, the cost of like two, two of those EpiPens uh, was less than $100. But then they finagled, you know, a monopoly into place, and they discontinued the sale of those, like the single injections, and they started selling only two packs. And, and then, so that was like one phase of it, and... <laughs> You know, the mom's involved, too. This is why in that very very first Kipper reading, there was, and I know I used uh, Chair Marchetti's cards, the mother came in, the daughter came in, and I didn't know anything about this. I was just totally clueless. So I'm so grateful to you, Frank, for bringing this to my attention so I could do some research. And now we can get clear on exactly what's going on and how this is going to affect their whole family. That's that's the uh, you know the quest here, <laughs> as, as Hilda calls it when she does the um, the beautiful timestamp for me. I'm so grateful for that. But anyway, so I'm back in 2010 was when I you know Gail Mansion, of course the the mom lobbied the states. She lobbied the states to to require schools to. Uh, stock the, you know, the EpiPens because she was, I guess, the head of some National Association of State Boards of Education. So I'm just going to go ahead and start drawing cards. Um, and because I think the, the cards will tell us the rest of the story. Okay, so how's this going to go for this whole family? Or... Five, six, seven. Okay. 
Always draw more cards if we need, but you know, I mean, 21 out of 36 should do it. Yeah, because I mean, to go to go in price from a hundred dollars to six hundred dollars is just outright. I mean, that's just so dark. Wow. Well, this is interesting. Okay, I think I have lots of room. Let's see how this goes. Wow. Now remember, this is just what's going to happen to their family. And we'll see who shows up here. Um, or maybe we'll just get the... Maybe because we know who all the players are now. Maybe we don't need all the, the people, you know. I'm thinking this guy here is some head of uh, one of the uh, companies that helped. Wow. Okay. So reading the first few cards that come up is, you know, I'm using some Grand Tableau techniques, uh, which this is, I would say, a good mini tableau, you know, mini, M-I-N-I. -I. So the first few cards shows the... Um, with the Hope Great Water card, it it's uh, in other decks it can be longing and yearning, things like that. But this has to do with foreign cultures. It has to do with, um, you know, affecting something on a global level, right? Uh, it has to do with having good vision, really good vision. Uh, but then on another level, it could be the... Uh, could be the the um, besides the vision that the daughter had that Heather you know Heather had into all the possibilities you know because obviously that's the way her brain works then again you know I would say that Joe Manchin would be the main character because I'm seeing this card here the main character and the woman would be the main, um, you know, the main lady, whatever. Like cards one and two usually. But now in this situation, because because we do have... No, actually we don't. We don't. But I think this is the mom. I, I think this is the mom. And I do think this is Joe. Joe Manchin. Just because we've got the mom and dad here, you know. So anyway, and this is, of course, I always tend to go past, present, future, like that type of thing. So it looks to me like in the past, there was some vision in place. I, I don't really think that this was Heather, you know, th I don't really think this stands in for her, because this whole reading is about her. Her, in, her. This is what she's done to her family, and her mother was a big part of it. And of course, you know, he's all about the money. We know that. Like, bring down, let it rain on me, right? If you're Joe Manchin. He's in bed with the oil companies. He's, uh, you know, he'll he'll take lobbyist money. Just, you know, it's like, I see this image of him as like this, this hand sticking out of his back, you know, behind his back, like here, yeah, you just bring it on. Like that kind of thing. <sighs> anyway, so I think there was this vision that had, that involved the mother, I don't know if they have a son. It might have involved him, but it would have been the mother and another, um, you know, younger guy who was very ambitious, knew how to get it going. And then with these first three cards opening, uh, you know, opening the reading here, we do have the vision globally. We have, uh, you know, because these pharmaceutical companies are not just in the USA, they're globally. They might be, um, you know, they may have their origins in the USA, but yeah, they're global. So, so that's the big vision there, and it might have been a new vision. When the high honors, the reputation card, you know, in, in Carol Marchetti's, it's usually that that uh, card of um, like the big wheels, you know, like with a cannon on it. This one, I actually prefer this image because, you know. You're at a gateway. You're about to step through over a th over the threshold and look out to what you could, what could be a good reputation, but not when you have 
this card next to it because this makes it something, this minimizes it, makes it smaller. And then to have the prison card, this is a major restriction. So if she doesn't do some, and this would be the daughter, Heather, Heather Brush, if she doesn't do some jail time, she's at least going to be smacked down and uh, I think given some big old fines. But this very well could be, so this would be the secrets that are out, and this could, she can't get out of this. This could very well be her doing some, some prison time. You know, kind of like Martha Stewart did, but this is much, much worse, I think. I, okay, so now let, let's look at the four corners. So, so I don't know who this rich gent is. If it's not a, an actual person, because a lot of times you, we can read these cards as just the quality, what we're dealing with is, like I said before, somebody's ambition, some planning, major career planning, you know, uh, moving up the, moving up the, moving on up kind of thing, <laughs> you know. It's also a card of a company's business. So again, that global company's, uh, you know, that business that, that they had, they had in place, and the mom took advantage of it. The mom's hanging over it. The mom has control there. There's some major control there. So, of course, because of her role on the uh, State Board of Education. So, moving over here, we have the gift card. So, now I'm going to combine these four cards together. So... <laughs> The, the gift brings in, of course, you know, support and offers and, um, you know, sometimes visitors, but, but and I can't see where the gift is coming from because, you know, there's no card above, but it does, the gift does end up bringing sad news because this is a card of investigations. This is a card of major disappointment. And what, what they did do with this monopoly did bring this gift of, of major disappointment to, uh, you know, humanity. Like $600 for, you know, that's 300 bucks a shot. And you can't even get just one. You have to buy the two, right? I mean, that's just so dark. And, of course, they have, you know, with no competition, they were able to do this because, um, you know, and all, and all that went on. But then I guess I guess Heather Brush was she was called in before this like committee on oversight and government reform in 2016, and uh, so I hope it's I hope it's changed. I haven't looked looked into the news to see like what's um, you know what's going on now with it. I was looking back into the history of it. So. But in the future, I can't say that this is a good outcome because we've got this, you know, this sad news here. This major, you know, big, big problem. And, and if this is, remember in um, Joe Manchin's last reading, I kept getting that illness was going to be down, a health issue would be coming down the line for him. And here we have that card again, and it's in his column. And we have the illness card in his column. It's like, yeah, dude, you got the money, but you've got bad health now, too. So have fun with that. Um, and then because the sorrow card, remember, this is like the nine of swords in the tarot. It's, you know, it's my, my what's embedded into my brain. The meaning of this card is tortured with worry sleepless nights and stress. It nights up here to the gift. So that's the gift that the whole family is getting. And that's because of the the court, <laughs> you know, the court card here. This These are charges being pressed. The uh, prison card is hanging down because they have violated violated laws. You know, right here in the center, if we would just read this nine box uh, spread here. Right here in the center, we have 
the court case, the legal matter, the charges being pressed, the judicial process, discoveries being made, um, and then hanging over that, if it's, if it's not prison for her, it's restrictions. If we were to read this center card as her process, and I'm going to have to look and see like what has happened to her since that uh, you know 2016 uh, committee started looking into it. Uh, if this is her honor and respect, is just toast. The gloomy thoughts card is almost as bad as this card. This is, this card has to do with a with depression, and then you can see my little chicken scratch here is like it's like the cause of the gloominess is this card, which is a court case, and then the effects of the gloominess or the um, uh, depression, the major, uh, some other better words for gloomy thoughts is, um, you know, mulling over something and not being able to really concentrate, not having the clarity that you want, like lack of clarity, maybe feeling very insecure and very helpless. Well, the cause of this painful ending has to do with, you know, this situation she's created. This is all Heather here. And and the effect also, the effect, this painful separation, painful loss, uh, you know, it's the, on one level, it's like the daughter, I think this is Heather too as well. I'm going to change my mind on that, about the child card here even though she's a grown-ass adult, right? <laughs> Pardon my French, it's like, grow up, woman. Anyway, she has um, she has caused this. She's going to feel the pain and the grief the most because it's affected her entire family. She has literally by herself with her own greed, which, you know, the apple never falls far from the tree. And she did have the support of both of her parents because the mom's right here, but it really affects the mom too. It's like, I feel like the mom and Heather, so Gail Manchin and Heather Bresch are going to, re and if there's a son involved, I don't know, but they're going to really be grieving the most because it's definitely affecting his political, uh, the dad's political, Joe Manchin's political position. So yeah, wow. And what what it ends, um, well, oh my goodness. So th this because this fatality card, you know, it's it's like the coffin card in the Lenemon. It touches this. So they, I bet you they do have a brother. I, I if I'm wrong, it, this would be some other person. If this is actually a person, it could be that business. It could. It actually could be um, Mylan, that the business. But if it's if the brother's involved, if the son is involved, then this would be him as well. And it's all because of this, you know, somebody who has deeply dove into, um, you know, this court issue. This would be the person that's in charge, or the the people. This could be more than one person because I feel like this is the committee. This is the committee. This is the case itself. These are the rules and regulations, you know, the antitrust regulations, especially when we're dealing with health. I mean, it, I, I really feel like, you know, pharmaceuticals and health um, healthcare, I feel like it really should be all not-for-profit, like in other countries. I think France has that down, where their doctors make a good living, surgeons make a good living, everyone makes a good living, but but they don't, there's no, there's no possibility of any monopoly like we have here. So, again, with, you know, this, I feel like this nine box here is Heather in her situation. Um, and it's, it's her dishonesty, of course, and the cause of her dishonesty has rules and regulations that, um, you know, this is the card of, like, it's official. This is the official card. Military official is, um, 
it's a military person here, but it's normally the the official card, the military official. It's rules and regulations. It's obligations. It is the need to be responsible, and I'm. Um, it's a political card too. So. The cause of all of this here, because notice these two cards night together, you know, two over and one up. And um, <laughs> one over and two up. Her honor is bound by these regulations and rules, and it's official that, yes, yeah, she, she did receive money up for this. They all received money for this with this... Um, you know, financial gain, bonus, tips, payouts, profits. That's what this card's all about, number 27. And, and it's also the card of business contracts. So there's these violations of antitrust laws. That's what the cause is. And then the effect is that they have to all go before and be investigated and then there's this painful ending because this is like the baseline and then these cards are weighing down and they have a lot of control over the you know this bottom row so for Heather she's oh I'm so sorry well you know what too late and you can sit in prison and think about what you've done because meanwhile I wonder how many people died because they couldn't pay? I mean, $100 is crazy. $100 for two of 50 bucks a pop is crazy. Well, it doesn't need to be that much money. You know what I mean? Like in standard business practices, if you want to market something and you need to advertise and all that, blah, blah, blah. Well, who need, nobody needs to advertise this stuff. We don't need, we don't need these, um, let me get on my little soapbox for a moment and tell you why I keep when I ever whenever I have the news on I always just mute it and 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 then and put on the uh, closed captioning and if I want to see what they're saying I, then I'll read it you know or maybe I'll turn on the you know sometimes with well a lot of times with Rachel Maddow I'll just go ahead and turn it turn it on but then I mute it or fast forward I, I record everything so I don't have to watch the stupid the ridiculous the greedy uh, pharmaceutical commercials that drive me nuts. I mean, why do they need to? They do not. They do not need to advertise like that. But they do it for the money, you know. It, it's, yeah. It, it, and it's very, very unhealthy for humanity to be watching things like that. But so she needs to sit in prison and think about this. This whole thing. And at some point... I think, to me, well, no, actually, I, I really do see her going to prison. I do, because this is a big circular pattern here. I, the change card is headed this way. She's not, she's not free. She's not, you know, there's no good outcome for her, because this good outcome card is flavored by all the cards around here. Oh, I'm sorry, around her, or around here. It's, it's here. And... To have illness and sad news and change, uh, sorrow, nights over to the good outcome, and uh, maybe, maybe who, maybe who has the best outcome out of this whole family is Joe Manchin because this card nights to here. But he's still going to be sad. It's like, yeah, you got your money, dude, but you're you're still going to be sick at some point. You're going to need some kind of meds. Um, but anyway, what I was saying before about the price point when you're marketing something, uh, which you don't need to do when it comes to medications, it's like, why don't you just get it from, you get it from a doctor that recommends it, right? You have to have the prescription. But they still only mark something up like four, four and a half to five times tops. And that pays for not only production, you know, pays for everything, including uh, like infomercials and TV ads and all of your, you know, marketing. But so these guys are just, they're making bank off of, um, you know, I mean, it's insane, off of, off of people that are ill. Or people that, you know, if you go into anaphylactic shock, your throat, you know, 
<laughs> peanut allergy, anything like that. Um, you know, allergic reaction to a medication, anything. My goodness. Um, you know, I think they might even use EpiPens for heart attacks. I don't know. You guys have to clue me in on that. I, it's, I, I know nothing about it. Nobody in my family's ever needed one. I'm just, I'm clueless. But what I can say, I do know a little bit about marketing products. I do know a little bit about um, I, the darkness of the pharmaceutical industry. And that's all here. And these people are, you know, if anything, the gift for us is that we get to see how how they finagle, how they um, corrupt the system. And maybe we'll get to see her in prison. And maybe even her mom. I don't know. Maybe not, though, because I there, there's she's way over here. But it's not going to be fun for her to watch her daughter. So anyway, the change, there's this circular pattern here to get back into, you know, this nine box. The, the change goes nowhere because it's bound by laws. You know, that's the cause, and then the, here's the effect over here, and this knight's up here. Here to here. Uh, this is just a big, vicious circle of pain that this woman deserves. Now, moving forward in time, I think I've done enough. I don't. I don't feel like I need to do the nine box here with the past because it's too obvious. You know, right? Can, you guys can see that clearly. I don't think I need to spend too much time on that. It involves the mother, the business. There's a painful loss. It affects her honor, uh, Heather's honor, and she's going to be mulling it over in prison, you know, and it's all because of her dishonesty and deception, just to make money. Can you imagine? Yeah, can you imagine crossing over, um, you know, doing your your life review before you're going, trying to, you know, go back to the the highest realm of love that, that we're all born from? But she doesn't get to go fully back there because, um, you know, maybe just the divine spark that she was born with or that, you know, that lives inside gets to go back. But the rest of it is, uh, no, because all these people died because of you. You know, and these other people in this company. She's not in it alone. Mother had something to do with it. But yeah, so talk about that, you know, guilt, guilt, guilt. Whew. Anyway, moving forward into the future, uh, Joe Manchin has control over abundance, over uh, an, a chance to earn some money, over uh, speculation, over winnings. He has control over that, but it doesn't matter, like I said before, because I think he's going to be ill because this card has come through again. Um, he's, he's up here, I think, I don't know how much sorrow he'll be feeling. You know, I don't, I don't. If it, if it were flipped in a different order, but then it wouldn't have been so tight for, um, his daughter. What knights to him is the change, so he is going to be caught up in this as well, of course. And the illness card nights to, again, just, you know, yeah, he's, so he's, we can see clearly, he's caught up in this whole thing. He did have some control. I bet you he took money from lobbyists. I bet you he took money from the pharmaceutical lobbyists, right? He had to have. So... To have this good outcome card here is really just, I don't think it's a good outcome as far as, because we've, just look at the image, it has to do with the heart. This is him connected to, this is his loyalty uh, to his family. This is his, um, you know, love for his family, that's all. But I think he's probably mentally ill. I think he's going to be physically ill at some point, and then this change is all. Maybe while he's sick, he'll he'll be thinking about what he did, while his daughter sits in prison for who knows how many years. So, 
goodness. Lordy. <laughs> okay, just for fun. Just for fun. So here, where, where are we? We're probably about 30 minutes in at the most. Um, if that if that helps, um, if I can remember. So I've got my still have my notes there. Let, let me use. I'm going to use the um, deck of character. And what, let's just let's look at it from this point of view. Let's see what this deck has to offer. See if we get any extra, like a second uh, confirmation. Because this deck is all about, you know, character references and the tools that they have and the places that they used those tools. But I've, I've got it all mixed together, so I'm just going to freeform it to see. Um, because I don't think we really need a character reference on these people. But we might want to see what other characters were involved and how this is all played out. So this whole EpiPen scandal on... The Mansion Family. How is this going to go for the Mansion Family? I keep seeing that sorrow card in my head. Don't, you know. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm going to pull the bottom three off the deck and we'll look at those after. If, if, if they relate. Sometimes they don't. I swear this deck is so slippery. It's got to be the slickest material I've ever used on a deck of cards. Okay, Wild Woman. So this is just the crazy daughter stewing <laughs> yeah wow and there's the whoa whoa interesting okay so we're we're getting more players in here ooh Yep. Okay. So, the, the daughter will be stewing in this very painful uh, ending. This is just like the coffin card. But the mother's involved. So the mother may end up, she may do some jail time as well. Wow. Or the mother may try and shield... The daughter, the mother knights to the shield, the mother's going to have to make a big leap, but if she does, she's going to be in the fire. Okay, interesting. Now, you guys, like I always say, or I want to always remember to say, and if I don't, just please take this as a blanket um, for all future, like a blanket statement for all future readings. These are symbols, these are words. Everyone has their intuition and their psychic abilities, so I welcome, I so welcome your comments uh, as to what you see, <laughs> because it really, really, I mean, I, I get so much entertainment out of, it's like, wow, yeah, I didn't see that, and I end up going back and watching the video to, to look at um, how you came up with, um, you know, the uh, the wisdom, how, how you came up with the message, so feel free to 
comment away. But right here in the middle, I mean, we've got the opening here with the crazy, you know, this is the daughter. It's stewing, and she's going to be stopped, or she is already. I don't know. I, I still need to look. But with this nine box here, it feels like the mom... <laughs> the, if if the mom is being investigated, I think she spoke all the words she needed to try and keep herself out of jail. I think she flipped like a you know burger, and she and there's this because there's this waterfall of this. I mean, just imagine the mom like, ah, oh my gosh, oh I don't want to go to jail, ah. and she had to spin in that spin in that um, labyrinth of you know. Crazy, crazy town for quite some while, quite some time, I think, um, to try and shield herself even from her own daughter. Wow. But the mom was involved. They were all in it together. They, these people are just crazy to think that they can get away with this stuff. And then, and then we have the thief here, of course. The thief with the key. So this, like, ocean, ocean of fire, workers wow yeah so this is bigger because I feel like this is so much bigger even though it knights to the mom but it knights up here to the world so this will be on another level if, if the mom doesn't go to jail this will be a restriction placed on this world of um, because of all, all the people that need EpiPens you know, it's like insulin medication. That shouldn't be so expensive. It's ridiculous. There should not be, you know, the opportunity for monopoly, monopoly when it comes to people's health. It's, health. Uh, it's just ridiculous. So the elves, knighting to the poet, the, this could bring in um, the possibility to for a big, you know, leap to so that these things don't, um, there's no fire again. Because the ocean of humanity, the ocean of humanity should not be stolen from. The world should have a lot more protection over thievery. So there could be a good outcome in, in the future, or maybe there has been already. I, again, I should have looked to see like how this lawsuit has come down. Or maybe it's, um, you know, maybe it's still in process because the ocean, and that's a really big, you know, this is a huge card. The ocean is huge. The world is huge. Thieves are small and they're stupid. The key is about something important, just like in the Lenormand, you read the same way. Something important, something that's a solution, something that unlocks. So maybe, maybe changes will occur at some point to, you know, to get, to purge this. You know, fire does transform. Maybe the mother it does make it out, but she's got this big leap that just, it's not good for her on that level. I don't think she'll be able to make it across, and if she does, she would land here, so how good can that be? You know, yeah, make the fire out of jumping into the ocean. <laughs> anyway, so this feels like the mom, and the mom flips. The mom gives a waterfall of information in this circus of a family is seen as thieves is recognized the circus of their family is recognized as a pack of thieves okay so over here with um heather bresh yeah she made the she made the money she made the money but this tornado she yeah she, man she's crazy this tornado of insanity thinking that she had that much power over you know this product like putting together the product you know like if you imagine Santa's elves making all the toys 
and she just she she thought she's that big and all of that. You know, narcissism I'm sure runs in the family. And Joe Manchin definitely loves the power tripping. So Is she going to be shielded from her mother flipping? I don't think so. Is she going to try and shield herself from her crazy family? I don't think she can. So I'm not... The wizard, this would be somebody wise. Well, the, the, the wisdom would be to, I don't know, run away to another country or something? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, maybe the wisdom will come through after sitting in jail. Um, yeah. The mother trying to shield her. Her flipping on her mother. Wow. Oh my goodness. This looks just like a big old mess to me for this family. There's nothing happy here. There's nothing loving here. Okay, what was on the bottom? A guitar, somebody singing, shining the light. The lounge chair. So maybe they can sit back and relax with it. I don't know. Now I'm so curious as to see like how this is going or if the, you know, the verdict has always already come down. So maybe maybe there's more there. So anyway, you guys, like I said, feel free to um, clue me in. Set me straight on what I'm missing, if I'm missing anything, and let me know what, what you guys think about this. So, but anyway, uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> Take good care. Bye.